All right, let's go ahead and continue our model. And let's mirror this over. So I'm going to hit W to get to my move tool and then hit D to get to my unlock my pivot, hold V and vertex snap it to one of these border edges, then hit D again. Then I'll go to mesh and click on mirror, turn cut geometry off. Make sure that this is on X because that's the direction I need to mirror in. And that looks good. I'm going to leave this border, this uh, middle edge loop here just in case I need it later. My history is getting kind of long, so I'm going to edit, delete all by type and history. Next, let's make the edge loop that will split the controller. You can see that this is further towards the back than the front and it kind of comes down and back up again uh, where the cord enters. So let's just start by creating the edge loop. So I'm going to hold Control Shift and then hit X. And drop an edge loop in the center of this gap right here. You can see it comes down right here, so I'll create an edge loop there, and then one here, and then one right here for it to come back up. Before we split this, let's go ahead and create the indentation for the cord. So I'm going to select this edge right here and delete it. And then I need to go to my multi-cut tool, and I want to drop an edge loop in the center here, like so. Then I'm going to select this top vertex. If you've been following along, this vertex should be pretty much in the center of where the cord's going to be, and that's what we want. So with this vertex selected, I will hit bevel, which will chamfer this vertice and split it into four. I'll select all four of those and go to edit mesh, circularize. And then I will add two divisions to it. You can see it's rounding out. And then I'll click on radial offset and drag it up until I get approximately the size of the uh, indentation there. Next, let's select this face. Hit Control E and move that down a bit to create that first little lip. Then I'll hit Control E again to scale it in. And this time I'll scale it into the size of the cord. And then move it down to the depth that I want. I look in here and kind of get an idea of how far down that goes. Create an edge loop here and one here. This one I'm going to scale up so I get more of a straight, something like that. This one I will double click and scale it as well, something like this, and move it up. And then I will bevel it and increase the segments and the fraction. So something like that looks pretty good. I need to fix this end gone in the center before I can split the controller. So let's go to our multi-cut tool and click here and close this up. Here, close that up. Here to here and then from here to here. Now you see we have all quads, which is good. So I'm going to click on, double click on this edge and then deselect these edges in here. Deselect that too. And this one, and this one, and this, oops, and this one. Then I'll hit W. Select this direction, hold V, and vertex snap this 
to line up nicely here. And then I'll just select this edge and vertex snap this one. I'll go ahead and double click on this edge, which will select that. Then I'll hold shift and click here, here. Then I'll hold shift, click once here, then double click right here. And it will select everything in between. Go to my top view and hit bevel. So let's go to this view so we can kind of see what's going on more. Let's look at both views. I can increase or decrease the fraction. I want this to be about the right gap for here. So it's looking pretty good. Then I'll take this face and scale it inward. We need to straighten this. We'll do that in a second. I'll take this one scale this inward as well we'll take these and scale these like so Then let's take this vertex and do some snapping to straighten it out. So I'll snap this over here. This one I'll snap, oops, right there. So now we have this is straight. This one, we need to vertex snap it to match like that. Then I will select one face here, hold shift, double click on this face, and it should select the entire uh, face loop there. Then I'll hit Control E to extrude and thickness. I will pull it in. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't pull it in so far that vertices intersect. So, for example, if I continue to pull this in, you'll see this corner here that these vertices have crossed over each other. We don't want that, so I'm going to pull this back a little until I get something like this. I'll check these corners and make sure they don't have intersecting vertices. They don't. All right, this is a good spot to save it, and we'll continue in the next video.